Hello everyone, Susie Gaming here and welcome back to another War Thunder episode. Today I'm gonna review Big Lit Panzer 57. It's a 9.0 light tank. It was 8.3 before, it received some buffs, now it's 9.0. Puma also got BR nerfed to 9.0. It negatively affected the 8.7 lineup of the Germany. So first of all, they added a stabilizer. And now third turns two times faster. They also increased the horsepower from 600 to 720. The ammo capacity jumped from 96 to 148 as well. Uh, however, they removed the explosive ammunition, uh, which had 95 millimeters of penetration, and they buffed the penetration of this APCBC round from 126 to 137. But yeah, all of these beautiful buffs don't matter when you have increased BR. I like Biglet more than Puma because it has amazing anti-air capability. Now, uh, because of this turret speed buff, it's almost similar as the American M247. For new players, uh, what makes a good AA? It's this shell. It explodes before contacting the plane. So you don't need to directly hit the plane. You just guess its trajectory, fire, and explosive round will do the thing. I do not consider this tank OP at any cost. It doesn't have capability to fight MBTs in mobile environments. Our kill time is not enough to compete with MBTs. Uh, it takes extremely long to kill MBTs because of this round and uh, what I'm saying, it's not efficient as Dardo. It will not be the first tank I would have spawned in the battle. I would have still spawned with Leopard 1A5 first instead of Biglet. I just want this kill time when I meet the MBT. Efficiency of this tank increased with the buff. When you compare it with the old one, this version will just shred it. The most annoying enemies Germany plays against USA, USSR and Israel most of the time and it's actually really hard uh, to pen them frontally with the main cannon that's why you need to stop fire the ATGM and until that happens they have a chance to fire back and that's when you will die so a big lit panzer have a really tricky gameplay and it's not comfortable it's only comfortable against aircrafts I'll give it an average rating against tanks, but against aircrafts it's actually good. ATGM, we only have 6 ATGMs, they're most of the time enough to kill Soviets for example, but tanks like Murakawa taking a lot of hits to kill. And even sideway. So yeah, right now Big Lit Panzer is really well balanced and it could even jump to 9.3 if developers don't like the statistics. Most of the time I was up tiered. I don't remember not even a single battle when I was fully down tiered. I played like 20 or 30 battles. Things are getting escalated when it's full up tier. You're playing against Abrams. You're playing against T-80Bs. Another advantage that Big Loot have over Puma. In big maps where you have to snipe from far distance, ATGM helps. If you were Puma, uh, you cannot fight at the far distance maps, but thanks to the ATGM of the Blake Panzer, it's possible. So it's kind of a universal tank, but still very situational. So that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one and peace out.